Here I am. This is me. <coughs> this is the Cliff Show. Welcome to the Cliff Show, everybody. Hey, I'm Cliff. Talk about fitness. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about just general sexiness. Petter bear can lead you. Lead you to lead you to the sexy, sexy promise land. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that my arm is tired and I've used all of my marker ink, I can tell you about day two of Armin's Fake Regionals 2018. But first I need to write it down here, so uh... Totally worth it. All right, check it out, event three. It's a bit of a doozy, and it's where we're gonna see that handstand walk obstacle course. And I think they're gonna be pretty sick of it by the time that I'm done with them. <laughs> Event three, 50 wall ball, 30, 20, 100 double unders, 60 foot handstand walk, 40 dumbbell snatch, 70, 45, 100 double unders, 60 foot handstand walk, 30 pistols, 100 double unders, 60 foot handstand walk. So here's how it works guys. Start finish, same place this time. They're gonna start on the other side of the rig, come back over at three, two, one, go, hit their 50 wall ball, run all the way down, 100 double unders, and then there's a 30 foot segment of the floor, just like they did last year, where the athletes are gonna start on one side, they're gonna go across and back. This year, the little implement thing is gonna be in the middle with the ramp and the stairs. They're gonna do it in one direction and the other direction, and they have to go unbroken the entire way through. They're gonna come back down here, they're gonna do their 40 dumbbell snatches, run back over to their jump rope, do their 100 double unders, and again, handstand walk, come over to where the pistols will be, 30 pistols, 100 double unders, handstand walk across and back, sprint to the finish. I feel like every time you're doing one of these, like, I just have the irresistible urge to try and like sneak a middle finger in there somewhere. Like, I'm sorry, my white balance was thrown way off by your pale skin. Could I, you try that one more time? It's, it's fine, dude. It's fine. What do you think of that workout? Um, it seemed, I like the stair ramp thing in the middle. Are you doing handstand well, walks I didn't, over that? I didn't that invent it? that, but oh, yes, they're actually going to do that at regionals. Oh, they are going to do yeah, that. Yeah, you've been sick. You didn't see that. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, they're, so some of this is based off of elements they've teased at the regional work. The only element they have teased at regional workouts is that handstand walk ramp and stair thing. Nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I learned this by following Flow Elite's Instagram, which you should also do. Shameless plug. <laughs> I should follow Flow Elite's Instagram as well. You should. Shameful plug. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it we actually have going on with this workout, event three? Uh, so the first two events are long. They're long and they're tough. It was that like strict handstand push-up, strict muscle-up, yoke carry thing, and then kind of like a regionals Murph. Uh, both of them are, you know, closer to the teens, into the 20 minute mark on the regional Murph for sure. But this workout is a little bit quicker. It's a little bit faster. It's not quite going to take 20 minutes, not going to take 15 minutes. And it's got, you know, kind of like the chipper slash everything but the kitchen sink feel to it. You got to have one of those workouts every year. And I feel like this was a good one to throw in. We're talking wall balls, handstand walking, double unders, dumbbell snatches, pistols, you, you name it, it's in here. And I think this combination does really well to actually test people's skill on the handstand walk because that handstand walk is gonna get really tough after your shoulders are fried with heavy wall ball and dumbbell snatch and a whole lot of double unders. And you know for a fact they're gonna do a workout that has that 100 double under repeat inside of it because they just loved it so much they included it in the open Open, as well as the age group online qualifiers. Almost lost the camera there. We are halfway through Armin's Fake Regionals 2018. We've seen three events so far, and honestly, I think event four might just be my favorite one of this entire Fake Regionals weekend. If it's not this event, 
then it's the last event of the weekend, which you guys will see tomorrow. But this event, God, I've been waiting for CrossFit to do something like this for a really long time, and I think, I feel in my heart of hearts that this might actually be a thing that we see at some point. Check it out. Fake Regionals Event 4, Dumbbell DT. Five rounds, 12 deadlifts, nine hang power cleans, six shoulder overhead. Men get to use 270s, women get to use 245s. What you got, Joe? Unique New York. <laughs> Unique New York. <laughs> Do you love it the way I love it? Because I really, really, really love it. Uh, dumbbell DT. So DT is one of my favorite hero workouts. It's uh, incredible. We've seen it at the games twice as a heavy version and as a double version. Both of them were fantastic. Great examples of what makes these athletes the best of the best when it comes to fitness. This is exactly what I would love to see happen now that we're getting to the point where regional type workouts and regional type skills are kind of trickling into the open. It follows, in my opinion, that games type skills and games type workouts should also trickle into regionals. And I think this Dumbbell DT is a perfect example of how you can take something that is so well known and so loved and turn it into something that no one really has tried out or practiced or mastered. Uh, not to say that there aren't a lot of people who are using dumbbells these days, there are, and not to say that DT is not a perfect candidate for a dumbbell type workout, it is, and that not to say there aren't athletes who have done this sort of thing, because I'm sure there are, but I think this is the exact type of event where you see athletes separate themselves at a regional level. There's a big difference between someone who can very comfortably get through that workout with those shoulder to overhead at 70 pounds or 45 pounds on those dumbbells versus someone who can use it on a barbell. And that's exactly what you wanna see. You wanna see the athletes who can adapt to something that's significantly harder when it comes to going overhead. And this, this is how they get to end their Saturday night. I fucking love it. Of course I love it, I wrote it, but I fucking love it. So, two days of regional workouts in the bag. I love them, I wrote them, I love them. What do you think about them? Am I missing something? Probably. Are they not good workouts? Probably not. Are they gonna be what the actual regional workouts are? Very, very unlikely. Unless, Dave, I mean, I'll, I'll charge a licensing fee. Let's do this. I'll program everything. I'll write them all. Fuck it. Armin's fake regionals becomes Armin's real regionals. Finally.